Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we are working on the F minor pentascale. So let's come over to the piano and get started. First, let's briefly review the F major pentascale by playing a little game. I'm going to say a letter name and you point to it somewhere in the F major pentascale. Can you find where A is? Point to it. If you're pointing here, you're correct. Can you point to a C in the F major pentascale? If you're pointing here, you're correct. Now can you point to an F? If you're pointing here, you're correct. Now can you point to a B flat? If you're pointing here, you're correct. These are the notes of the F major pentascale, but today we want to play F minor. Do you remember how to make major into minor? If you said move the third note down a half step, you're correct. Do, re, mi. If we take mi and make it a me, it will be come F minor. So now we have two black keys in this pentascale. The F minor pentascale has two black keys. Now, since we started on an A and went down a half step, we'll call this black key A flat. It so happens that every black key actually has two names. If we move from this direction, we'd call it A flat. But if we had taken this G and moved it up, we would call it G sharp. So it really depends on the direction you came from. This black key could be G sharp or A flat. But since we started here on A and moved down, we're going to call it A flat. Now, can you point and name all the keys with me, starting with F? Let's say them together. Go. F, G, A flat, B flat, C. Now, can you name them by yourself, stepping down? Go. If you said C, B flat, A flat, G, F, you are correct. Now let's try to play the F minor pentascale. With your right hand, place your five fingers over the five notes of the pentascale. Notice finger three and finger four are on a black key this time. To help those fingers reach, you might slide your fingers closer, slide all of your fingers closer to the black keys. It's okay for finger two to actually play up inside these two black keys. Now let's play and name each note, one at a time, stepping up, then down. Starting with F, finger one. Ready, go. F, G, A flat, B flat, C. Now stepping down. C, B flat, A flat, G, F. Good, now let's try the same thing with the left hand. Place your left hand in the F minor pentascale, and this time let's sing the solfege. Starting with Do on finger five. Ready, go. Do, Re, Me, Fa, So. So, Fa, Me, Re, Do. Now let's place both hands in the F minor pentascale. And we'll try and play stepping and skipping together. Ready, nice and slow. In similar motion, ready, go. Stepping up and stepping down and skipping up and down chord. Good, now let's try contrary motion, starting with your finger ones in both hands and moving out. Ready, go. If that was too hard for you on your first try, that's no problem. Just press pause and practice it on your own a few times, then rewind and you can try it with me again. Let's improvise now in the F minor pentascale. So I'm going to give you an accompaniment and you get to improvise on your own today. So place right hand or left hand in the F minor pentascale and just listen to what your accompaniment's going to sound like. Today we're going to use a blues style accompaniment that will be like this. Okay, 
So that will be your accompaniment and you just get to have some fun. Remember, when you're improvising, there's no right or wrong notes. Just listen and make sure your notes have a rhythm that's consistent with the beat that I'm providing you. Try to make our notes work together. You can be creative. Don't just play an endless stream of notes. Try to give your notes meaning. Speak in little short ideas, like better than this. That's an endless stream of notes, kind of like a run-on sentence. A better improvisation would have little short ideas like just three repeated notes and then a skip down. That's simple enough. And then you could do it again, but vary it a little bit. And that makes for good jazz improvisations. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Great job working on the F minor pentascale. On your own, I'd like you to keep practicing it. You can use stepping and skipping in similar and contrary motion. Also try the hand over hand pentascales, arpeggios, and chords in F minor. The last thing I'd like you to try doing is transposing some of your old songs to F minor. It might be fun to try oranges and lemons in F minor. Remember, when you get to the B section and you shift down to C position, you'll be using C minor. So F minor pentascale, then C minor pentascale. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Pleasant, cheerful sound. Big deal. Oh, no one seems to be scared of me today. Uh, you know, you'll probably sound a lot scarier if you try using the F minor pentascale. Minor has a much creepier sound. Oh, I'll try it. What a scary, spooky sound! It worked! <laughs>